Good evening, everyone. My name is Joshua Lewis. I am coming to you from Southern California, where it's going to be almost 90 degrees this weekend. It's going to be beautiful. Uh, my leadership experience, uh, the first question, ask about my leadership experience in higher education. I've never held a position in higher education. I've only been a student. And my education has been as a student, doctoral student, and currently as a doctoral candidate. My experience was at the community college first, where I earned an emergency medical technician uh, certificate. I then continued on to Cal State Fullerton, where I earned my BS in biological science and a master's in educational leadership and my teaching and administrative credentials. In my career, I've served as a high school assistant principal, middle school principal, and now I'm the director of education information technology. And in each of these roles, I've um, prepared students to in K-12 to be college and career ready. For many years in K-12 education, we were focused solely on a high school graduation rates. But today we realize that our students need more than just a high school diploma to be successful. They also need to be prepared for college and career. The second uh, question in the post asks us to describe our experiences and the relationship between technology, globalization, and socioeconomic status in reshaping higher education. And in Ching and in Soro, uh, posit that students in higher education can be transformed with or without technology. Some technologies show great prom promise uh, with the appropriate professional development. Technology has really expanded the possibilities of higher education. We are now more connected, we have more tools, and have more flexibility than ever before. Globalization has made it easier with technology. ACE is a great example. In my classes, we have students from all over the world. I've truly enjoyed the pers uh, pers perspectives from my classmates from all over the world and professors from all over the world. In my previous experiences uh, in higher education at Cal State Fullerton, all the students and faculty were from California. ACE and other online colleges use technology to connect faculty and students from around the world throughout the nation and the world. One thing the pandemic has shown is the digital divide that exists between those with a lower socioeconomic status. These students with a lower economic socioeconomic status lack of devices, uh, adequate connectivity and appropriate training. And it really creates that digital divide. In my school district, I'm proud that we've closed that digital divide with grants that um, our voters have approved uh, that has funded a Chromebook for every single one of our students to take to and from school. And they also, we recently have also given them a hotspot to, for those that are in need and provide lots of training. <clears throat> uh, the last part talked about uh, the history of higher education and what is your viewpoint and value of a college degree. Uh, Ford uh, opines that the original purpose of higher education was civilization. And this really started with Harvard, uh, the original college. It was um, the churches, you know, wanted to um, uh, spread Christianity and colleges were one way of doing that. Gradually changed over time, um, became many things uh, to me. My viewpoint is that a college degree is a key that can open many doors. It's something that must be earned and can never be taken away from somebody. With a degree, individuals can be eligible for jobs or positions that weren't possible before. Uh, Ford also points out that some colleges do reject the idea that the purpose of college is solely for employment. Uh, the, to me, the process of earning a degree develops skills, characters, and perseverance.